guys, I'm going to start a project today with all kinds of fun new metallics with multi-surface. And so this one's called Nickel, and I have some pretty metallic pyridome. I love pyridome. And um, a couple of other colors that are in here. One is rose gold, and um, there's a couple of different ones, teal, uh, topaz, and then there's a pearl here, but I'm not, I'm going to mostly use these with, with wicker white and some, um, this green is going to make some pretty colors in there, but I do need some little bit of sap green. And so I'm going to make a container with some of these flowers in it that I think are going to be really fun. So to make the first container look, I'm going to take and just decide the shape of the container down here. I'm hoping that you guys can see that. I can always get some chalk. Let's see, let's get a little bit of chalk and show you. So I'm just gonna come down and get a little bit of this shape first, just to give you an illusion, and then we will put our flowers into this. Okay, so we're using multi-surface paint, some of my favorite. We're gonna use lots of medium because I want a watercolor effect. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this nickel and a little bit of white because I want it to look like it's just a jar. A little bit of a jar, see the floating medium? Now what's gonna happen is this medium is going to go away because it's clear and we're gonna have this gray look here, metallic. Now what's gonna happen is this, this white will cover the metallic and make it not be very metallic. So I wanna show you really quickly how it's kind of deceiving because you see all the wet from the floating medium. So I'm just gonna go over it a couple of times here. Remember, I'm just looking, I know this isn't watercolor, but I wanna get that watercolor effect. So I am going to go into the medium and pick up more of this nickel. Okay. And let's just put some more of it here. The little bit of white, make sure that you see the edges. Okay. And I'm just gonna tap it in here to get that illusion. All right, and I can put a teeny bit of the green the Pirido. I don't know if y'all can see that much, but I'm also going to add that along here some. Okay, so look down at that. Okay, and then I'm going to put a, a little bit of stem in here. All right, so the little bit of stem is going to I can make the, stem, the vase look like it has a round bottom or whatever, but instead, I'm not gonna worry about that part because I'm just gonna come up here and get a, look at this. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that peridot with sap green. And remember the sap isn't metallic, but if you put it next to the peridot, it gives you a nice look. Okay, so now we'll see this. Okay. <clears throat> so I can put my flowers in and then come back and add more green, more leafing. Okay, I'm just going for this illusion right here inside the base. Okay. So before I get too far, I'm going to take my 16 flat. That was my three quarter that I did all that with. All right. Oh, before I go any further, let me, I'm going to make a big feature flower first thing. And so I'm going to take medium and white. 
okay and then a little bit of nickel for grayness all right so i'm going to have a big white blossom what does that look like so lots of medium to make that move and we probably didn't need the silver because we've got this gray this is not black paper this is a deep charcoal color. See so now that medium makes you be able to see through that and gives it a kind of fun look, right? Okay, so now I'm going to pick up with the same brush some of this rose gold. And I'm going to slide up and slide back down. And I can come in here with a little bit of white on the tip. A little bit of white. So do you see I just pick up a little bit of white on one edge on of that pretty pretty flower there. All right, I'm going to go back to the 16. Okay, so let's put, let's pick up a little bit of, uh, what color do we want? A little bit of magenta. Okay, so medium and magenta. And then I can use this rose gold on the edge. So push, 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 magenta and some rose gold. See how I'm picking up the rose gold. Now what's so nice about this is on this dark background, it really adds to our piece. See that? So I'm just going to pick up little bits more of just the peachy color on that pink brush. All right, so I think those are some nice colors. So now what we want to do is I want to pick up little bits on the 16. I'm not cleaning the brush. I'm just picking up Peridot. I can get medium because I want it kind of watercolory. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to make a center in here. <clears throat> all right. So we're going to come all around here to make brighter. Let's get a little bit. I think I need some citrus, brighter green. I love the Peridot, but like just a little bit of citrus in here. All right. So let's come in here. I'm just tapping. All right. So let's pull a little bit more Peridot with citrus. All right, I'm gonna put some green in here. This is the bright green. All right. Okay, are you liking that? Okay, so let's let's pick up some dark green in here.
Let's see what we see here. Our light bringing in some brighter green. But I did, this darker green really made it. We got light green on this side, and darker green over here. And this just has brighter pieces of green here. Okay, so now all I need to do is put some pretty centers. Okay, and you could come in here with some just plain treasure gold or we can maybe with some yellow ochre. And I'm just going to go into my bottle and add some white, some worker white, and yellow ochre. Now, look how this is looking on that. Okay. So, we can take see this this yellow ochre and worker white gives you a nice look here. Now we can put a little bit of citrus in here, and I can also put little bits of white on the tips. All right. And I think, I think the white makes this really pop because it brings out the white of that flower. All right. Now, okay. I don't want to go too fast. I want y'all to kind of enjoy it as we go. I'm going to sign with Wicker White. These are really pretty to paint on a vase or on the one side of a t shirt. Make a pretty little design there. Now I can come in with medium. So I put medium on the 16 and just pick up some white. So see, I can go around and etch a little bit of white. Medium and little bits of white. Now look what happens here. I'm gonna take the chisel of this and add just a few little markings with the white pulling out of the center there. All right. Da, 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 da. All right, here we go. Was that kind of fun? It was just a quick little, let me show you what you can do using metallics and a little bit of floating medium because floating medium really adds to this. Little dabs of white trailing. I hope you guys enjoyed that this morning. Let me see what you guys do with it. Thank you.